Hello everybody, welcome back to some more fighter subscriber where a subscriber has sent me a craft and I throw it up against some of my own, which you can see here. Just before we get started, there has been some discussion in the comments about how long this season is going to run for. Uh, originally I wanted to get through all the craft I've been sent, uh, but I wasn't quite expecting it to take off the way it has. Uh, you amazing people have sent me a whole load of fighters, thank you very much for that, it really has blown me away. but. It does mean some people are unfortunately going to have to be disappointed. Uh, I will still try to get through as many of them as I reasonably can, but uh, reasonably is kind of the operative word here. I can't let this season get too big, too unwieldy. Uh, as soon as I realised I wasn't going to get through all the craft, I came up with a number. That number was far too big. Embarrassingly big, I won't even mention it. Um, it was suggested I should have left it at eight. I think that's a little bit too low. Um, I'm trying to balance these two competing factors and what I've come up with is a 12 craft season. You might think that's too high, you might think that's too low, uh, but it's just my honest attempt to balance those two things. Anyway, I've been waffling on for long enough. I think it's time we meet today's subscriber craft. So this comes to us from MHD. This is the T1042019, or maybe the T1042019. I'm not sure, but I'll be calling it the T104 from here on in. It's the third drone of the season, and uh, it's got a nice aesthetic to it. I do like it. It looks dangerous, if you get what I mean. Uh, it uses one of those Saturn afterburning engines and two of those smaller Juno engines, which is an interesting choice, uh, as is the light on the front. I don't know what that's for. Um, maybe to illuminate your enemies as you destroy them. To allow you to gaze into their eyes as they breathe their last. Or it could just be a landing light. I have no way of knowing. Anyway, now we're all familiar with how it looks, let's go take a peek at how it flies. It's certainly an interesting craft to fly. Um, I've done a few test flights with this, as I do with most craft I receive, and uh, the AI seems to get on very well with it, but it's a bit tricky to fly manually. It's super manoeuvrable below a certain speed, which means uh, if you try and pull a turn, uh, it uh, will start to slow down and then it will just flip around, because it can. Ultimately though, this isn't really an issue because I won't be controlling this thing, the AI will. And as I said, the AI seems to do very well with it, so uh, let's go and see exactly how well. To get this party started then, these T-104s will be going up against my Cyclones. Let's get them into the air. So it begins! The craft turn to try and get missiles away. One thing I didn't mention during the test flight is that this is a very quick craft. I mean, it, I know some of the craft we've seen have got sort of dual Saturn engines, which really does give them a, a hell of a kick of power, but this this T-104 can certainly, uh, certainly turn it on when it needs to. How are we doing? Those Cyclones tended to be a little bit vulnerable to an early missile kill, but... Uh, Nothing happening this time around. Both sets of craft get off their second volley. That T-104 closing the distance quite rapidly. What are we down to? About five kilometers now, just approaching. And that is one of the T-104s straight out of here. Crumbles to dust. And Amram hit it, and that is not good news for the T-104s. I would have expected these craft to do better sort of close up because they are very maneuverable. They do have that super maneuverability and as I said the AI tends to handle it quite well. That's one of the cyclones gone. That is one of the cyclones down to a missile kill. It is two against two. We are all square again and I'm hoping that these craft can close the distance and we can start seeing some gun action before too long because uh, I think that's how we want to see these fights resolved. That missile just explodes randomly in midair. Ah, this T-104 now has that cyclone on its tail. Gunfire rains in. Uh, also, one thing I learned from the test fights, these craft, they damage easily. They're not like some of craft which are very resilient to damage. These craft hit them in the right place and they just fall to bits. So, uh, I'm sure, sure we'll be hoping that that doesn't happen here. Not putting guns to that craft, any reason why? No idea. Breaking a bit low there, does manage to avoid the ground, as does this craft here. 
will be all about if these T-104s can actually turn around and get guns onto anybody. This one doesn't seem that keen on actually putting some guns down. It's wingman though, if you can actually call it that, doesn't seem to have any such reservations. Flips out a bit. Oh, that was always a danger. Ah, it's a sitting duck. The cyclone comes in and finishes it off. I was saying the AI seems to have a better time of it than the um, than I did, but it seems even the AI can be caught out by that a little bit. This T104 will have to get a quick kill if it. Hmm. Maybe not. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that was quite decisive. Uh, so the T104s fall at the first hurdle, but we'll. Uh, We'll have a couple of chances to redeem themselves. Let's see how they get on in their other fights. So a result in that last fight that did surprise me. Uh, I honestly thought the T-104s would have what it took to overcome the Cyclones. Sadly not, but they get another bite of the cherry here in this fight against my club tails. Let's get it started. And the second fight starts. Uh, something I probably should have mentioned earlier, by the end of today, I, I knew before the episode started that by the end of today, one craft will have guaranteed itself a place in the final. Um, the result in the last round means that that craft will be the F-15C Eagle by Daniel Garcia. Um, this craft, unfortunately, won't be able to reach the points total to catch it, so... Um, yeah, it means the F-15C now cannot be pushed out of those final qualifying places. So uh, congratulations to Daniel Garcia. We'll, uh, we'll take a, a closer look at that a bit later. In the meantime, though, let's get back to this fight. Missiles going back and forth. No early missile kills this time around. That looked a bit close over there for one of the club tails, but sadly no. Well, sadly no from the T-104's perspective. And the club tails have closed the distance a lot quicker than the uh, lot quicker than the cyclones did. More missiles fly in. Nothing doing this time around. The T-104s not falling to that early missile kill as they did in the last fight. More missiles flying back and forth. Guns going on over there. Let's see what's happening. This T-104 gets a missile away. This one trying to dodge guns is. Where are the club tails? More missiles going back and forth. That's debris. That is debris from one of the T-104s. I can't see anything major missing from any of the craft. I'm assuming it can only have been a smattering, just some uh, superficial damage. This T-104, where are you off to? Trying to evade an enemy? I'm not sure what you're up to. More missiles going in over there. This T-104 does get some... I thought you were getting some guns away. There we go. Has to dodge hard to avoid the gunfire. Where is that? Ah, more gunfire coming in from the opposite direction this time. This T-104 with the attention of two of those club tails. And that doesn't normally mean good news. But we'll have to see if uh, if this craft can get out of it. It does, as I uh, as I've said a couple of times, have a fair bit of manoeuvrability about it. So um, it may be able to shake the two of them, but we'll have to see. That is one of the T104s gone. Where was that? Did it crash into the ground? Oh, this T104 flips out. We'll have to regain control very quickly. Otherwise, no, the AI doesn't seem to have any interest in regaining control. Now it does. Where the hell did, did that T-104 go? I have no idea. More debris over there. And the T-104s fall again. Now three on one. I don't think there's any coming back from this. I think that is curtains for the T-104. A disappointing showing so far. They did show a lot of promise in those test fights I mentioned earlier, but uh, I've obviously not been able to live up to those expectations. 
comes about, tries to lay guns into one of the club tails. The other two club tails seem to be distracted by the remains. That appears to be an Amram fired by... Oh, it's an Amram fired by one of the club tails. Yes, at one of the, at the remains of that F-104. So, with them distracted, possibly, just possibly, this T-104 could claw its way back in. That missile falls into the sea, though. They are not having the rub of the green today. Dodging a missile. Has a club tail in close proximity. Oh! Did not dodge that missile too well, though. Not much remaining of it at the moment. Missing a wing. Fires a missile. Trying to go after one of the club tails over there. Uh, all the club tails in good working order. They seem to be so. Missiles flying in here. Strips the last T-104 of its engine. And its fate is sealed. Another missile goes flying past. Zip pops flares. <laughs> Delaying the inevitable, but you've got to admire the optimism. But that is a clean sweep for the club tails in this fight. So let's go and see if the T-104s can salvage some pride in our third and final round. So two defeats in the first two fights for the T-104s, but... Uh, now perhaps a chance to save some face in this fight against my Panthers. Let's get them into the air. Nearly at the 8 kilometer mark then. And now it begins. I mentioned earlier these craft can be quite fragile. They are... It's a real glass cannon of a craft and... I think that's sort of counted against them. They're sort of... All or nothing, do or die, and sadly it's sort of been the latter in the uh, in the last two fights. But, um, well, who knows how they'll do in this one. Missiles come flying in, um, everybody breaking low to try and avoid. The Panthers haven't tended to fall to early missile kills, but, um, well, I have seen them do it before. Not with this first volley, though, the second volley goes in. I think these T-104s, they really need to make that... Oh, that's not good news. Where are you? One of the T-104s is already... <laughs> scattered into pieces all over the place. Right, you're over there. Hmm. Three against two. Not the worst setup in the world, though. They can still pull this one back. Two missiles coming in for this T-104. Manages to dodge them. If the T-104s can get uh, a quick kill in, they can level the playing field and maybe, maybe they can then let their strengths shine. But um, it's not looking too good. Both T-104s quite far out of it at the moment. Gunfire coming in on this T-104 though. And yeah, that might be a problem. Because as I said, not the most resilient craft. Missile goes flying in. A kill here would be really handy for them. But sadly it's not to be. Popping some countermeasures, launching another missile. I'm not sure if this T-104 still has the attention of two of the uh, two of the Panthers. But if it does, if it can just hold on, that might allow. Hmm. Might allow its wingman to come in and do some damage. Yeah. Not not looking quite so hopeful at the moment. Still has missiles. Still has the radome, I think. Should still be able to get... No, actually, it had the radome on the front of the craft, didn't it? What am I saying? <laughs> no, that is that for that craft, and I think that might be that... For the T-104s? Hmm. Let's, uh, let's go wrap this one up. So a very bad day at the office for the T-104. Their inability to take a hit and keep on flying may have been a factor, but I don't think they deserve this. I've, I've flown them just myself and also watching the test flights and 
I think they're better than they, they showed today. Uh, I think they were very unlucky, but unfortunately, on occasion, that's just the way it goes. If we bring up the leaderboard then, we can see that with just the one kill and no survivors, the T-104 only has the one point. At the other end of the table though, Daniel Garcia's F-15 Sea Eagle is now guaranteed a place in this season's final. A huge thank you to MHD for this craft, I liked it, it was certainly interesting to fly. Uh, if you want me to fight any of your craft then, after what I said earlier, you don't have a hope in hell of getting it into this season, but uh, feel free to send it to me anyway. We will, in all likelihood, be doing another season of this at some point in the future. Details in the description. If you've enjoyed today's episode, then please consider liking, subscribing, following me on Twitter. You know the drill. Uh, link down below. Uh, I will be back soon with some more Fighter Subscriber, but for now, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time.